For Chad Gray, modern metal is just a huge ripoff fest. Although the Mudbane frontman wasn't specific about copycats, he was ruthless when talking about the new generation. The Underground Australia recently sat down with Chad Gray from Mudbane, who will be in Australia later this year, and raised some concerning red pills about modern metal. As it stands right now, Chad is not one bit impressed about anything. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but I don't give a fuck, because I'm me and I've got stuff to say. Music now to me, God bless them, new bands, they sound the same. All new music reminds me of the same fucking singers. One band kinda does something, a hundred bands follow that band. This reminds us all of the vanity metrics plastered on social media platforms. We're talking about the like buttons, numbers of followers, and all that kind of stuff. It could be easy to lose perspective, but what do you think? Which bands do you think are breaking plateaus in metal? While it's common to find bands with more similarities than differences, he revealed crafting something truly unique takes time. He said, I wasn't ripping off a band from 1999 and releasing my album in 2001. I think that everything was happening in the late 90s. 2000 was coming from a very pure place with all the musicians that were creating it at that time. I think it all came from old influence that over time had been cultivated and nurtured. And it takes time to do that. I can't be influenced by somebody that just came out with an album that's brand new last year. He remembered OzFest 2001 as an innovating era for metal when the lineup consisted of Slipknot, Papa Roach, Marilyn Manson, Disturbed, System of a Down, Mudvayne, and even others. Bands were doing their own thing and really pushing the boundaries, really challenging the listener. Mudvayne released their debut album, LD50, in the year 2000, where the album took the number one spot on the Top Heat Seekers chart from Billboard magazine. With Dig and Death Blooms among their biggest hits, the album was a bit pretentious. It was a combination of groove metal riffs with a lot of syncopation making it sound technical, heavy, and super groovy. It was a challenging metal album, one with very thought-provoking lyrics. About his influences, Chad revealed that those were to include James Hetfield, Lane Staley, Phil Anselmo, and Chris Cornell, and also said, My influences, even when I came out in 2001 with LD50, my influences were from 1981, 1983, like 20 years, almost 20 years prior of me dropping my first album. The challenges in the music industry today are different. It's cheaper to record an album, but bands nowadays must act as their own record label and their own marketing department to include staying up to date on their own social media accounts. But what do you think? We discovered a band blending epic doom metal riffs with death growls, so check them out in the description if you're down. Tell us if you agree with chat or not. Subscribe to the channel with notifications if you haven't already, and stay metal.